Marker review. Welcome back to YouTube's. Ah, fuck. Welcome back to YouTube's favorite show, Marker Review. And today we're gonna review the Ohu markers. Ohu. Uh -huh. Fifty cent for one marker. Wowie, that is so cheap.
so that is it. I made this drawing with only Oho markers. So now it's time for marker review. Okay, first of all, Oho, get your yeah. shit together. Why don't you ship to Belgium? How am I supposed to review the markers if I can't get the markers? So what I had to do to get these markers, I had to buy them off a, off of a random dude of eBay and he charged me double the price of the actual markers. They came in an Amazon box, so he just buys them from Amazon and then sells them for Okay, but uh, disregard my struggles. Normally, each marker costs only 50 cents. So that means that this whole package of 80 markers is the same as about like 8 Copic markers. Okay, so my first point is quality control. Most of these cheap markers don't really have hell of a lot of quality control. They just put it in the bag and ship it out without really checking if anything is missing or if anything is broken. But Ohu has a solution for this because they added this leaflet which essentially says that you have a free replacement or a refund for every mistake they made. So at first the set seemed okay but after using it for a while the markers felt a bit sticky or greasy. It felt like there was a weird coat on top of them, maybe from in the factory, I don't know. But when I first opened the set I saw that all the colors were pretty much pastel colored, so I was like, let's make a pastel colored doodle. But I quickly realized that the actual ink in the marker wasn't pastel at all. The caps were lying to us! Yeah. But besides that, the colors were actually very great. I felt like the colors were really saturated and bright, which is something I like, obviously, with my doodles. But in the wings, for example, you still have some light colors you can use, so it, it was a nice mix. And of course, because you have 80 markers, you have a wide variety of colors to use, instead of having, for example, the 8 Copic markers, which would give you a bit of a limitation with colors. So I, I want to say one more thing about the caps, and that is the fact that they don't have names. They are numbered by number. It's always fun to have the names on it and it feels very weird to only have numbers. I don't know why they did that. We want names on our markers. Hashtag it. We want names like Blue Eyes White Dragon or Magenta. Lastly, let's talk about the nips of these markers. As always on the cheap Copic marker alternatives, they don't have the brush nip. I feel like once one of these cheap marker companies add the brush nip to their marker, then we have a real competition to Copic. Now, these are fine. We have the small boy bullet nip, and then we get the big boy chisel tip. I use the chisel tip on like 99% of my drawing because it has a bigger surface and it is way way easier to blend the colors with it. Obviously these are alcohol based markers so the ink should blend well together and it did. I was very surprised with how good the colors blended together, especially colors that are pretty close together like yellow and orange or blue and purple. Those were like super easy to blend together but when it came to colors like orange and, and green, they were not as easy to blend. But the same thing happens with Copic markers, so I didn't see huge difference between blending with Ohu markers and blending with Copic markers. Overall, I'm pretty happy with these markers. I, I gotta say, they do the job and they are so much cheaper than Copics, so I don't have a lot to complain about. So I'm giving them a 7.6 out of 10. And that's it for marker review. Make sure to drop a like, smash the bell, and comment down below which marker I should review next. Don't forget to buy the merch because it's selling like a god shirt and because it's only available for a couple more days. So uh, buy the merch, bye.